Hey, welcome back. Let's get a weekly read out. What is the energy or a message for the next two weeks? Coming in, we have the full moon coming in as well. But let's go on the message. What has flipped over is the judgment card, also known as the fated card. Let's see what energy is going on around that for you. So making a call um, or the universe making a call for you. Let's get some clarification on the judgment card. Oh, we're right. The universe making a call. Two major arcanas out. It's early Monday morning. Here we go. We have the Hierophant, uh, the High Priest, the universe, and the judgment. So a judgment is being made now. I also do feel this is to do with the 2023 Universal 7 alignment and the activation of April, May, the new energies coming in, our new alignments. Whoa, what came out there? Temperance. We have judgment, the Hierophant, and temperance. So this is about putting things um, moving into the next natural cycle. It is uh, in your future. It's a natural evolution we cannot deny. It's also about karmic justice, the look, balancing the, the cause and effect, energies and laws of karma and cause and effect here. Uh, the higher up contracts are now coming in. They're being downloaded. They are being uh, given to you through epiphanies, through messages. So what is it for my collective? Here we go. The genuine offers coming in. Now, that could be a genuine message from the divine. It could be a genuine offer or message from someone. Uh, the divine may be calling for someone to come in and balance out karma, uh, this can be our apology card in the tarot deck. Could be an apology, could be an offer, a genuine offer, and balancing imbalance or indecision. If there has been indecision, there will be no more coming forward. Universe doesn't, um, if, if you've been indecisive for too long, uh, the universe could be stepping in here and taking over because of high contracts here. Yeah. Someone's very oh, disappointed here. Uh, we've got the conflict card, we've got disappointment and regret, and we have a King of Pentacles here. So, and the King of Pentacles is about putting action, building, putting in the work, taking the steps to build. Um, it's abundance, prosperity, happiness, contentment, solidness, commitment, loyalty. Um, it could be many things, but think of reality. Think of someone putting in the work. Now, the universe is putting in the work and it expects you to love. Okay, so we have a Queen of Cups out here. We have the Star card and we have collaboration. The biggest message here is this. Divine unions are coming into alignment. Divine higher purposes, paths, unions, and it's time to put the work in. It's time to knuckle down, build, uh, be stable, be secure, build a foundation and, and sort of like commitment. This guy's very committed. See, this energy here is supposed to be doing that and has not been or did not. There was an imbalance in energy or decision or maybe they haven't been ready to to be in a, a stable energy but it looks like they're coming in and all of this for you is from the divine it is a judgment of the higher up so i'd say the universe is definitely working through people um, making them stand up stand in their truth stand in their power doesn't matter what's coming at them that is the adversity that we all receive here this person standing up and I feel that the universe will be backing them in that and helping them to do that. Yep, I cannot make this up, the emperor. The emperor is ready to stand up, stand firm. Now, emperor, masculine or feminine, it is a masculine energy though. So it's about final decision, a ruling, a calling, taking charge, authority, making decisions for the good of all, you know, building an empire, building a foundation, taking charge of that in a balanced way with wisdom an emperor has wisdom a true emperor now look at this spacing ready to stand up ready to come forward so this is all about the universe and we have the king and queen of pentacles here out now so this is about commitment 
This is about two people coming together who need to move forward in a higher purpose from the divine or your higher purpose, commitment, loyalty, building solid reality, bringing it into reality. No more thinking about it, no more indecision, no more staying stuck, whatever it is for you, you're to move forward. Look at that, the full card, the zero card, the reset cycle. It's time to reset and go into the unknown. Um, and that is the major energy change this in the next two coming weeks. Probably around the full moon here, we have the tower card changing your foundation. It's change, it's shocking change, it's out of your hands change. It is shocking, can be good or negative, but it is it is something of a force that has forced you onto this new path. And you are moving forward and passionately, you know, you've done your re-evaluation or they have and look at what's come out, the two of cups. So we have higher divine partner, purpose. This is all about commitment. So it's, here's another message. Spirit is saying you need to connect to what is spiritually right for you. What is now your highest and best path, purpose, partnership, all of the above is coming through, through a message, through the divine, with the judgment, the hierophant, and the temperance. They're calling you to now connect to higher divine purposes and paths. Oh, and I feel like I'm, I'm even tired this morning and I'm giving you the lecture. Collaboration, collaborating, wish fulfillment, reward, star card, your higher purpose, spiritual higher purpose, connection and love, love of what you do, love of someone, whatever it is, it's all of the above, Spirit said, that all comes together. So if you're trying to build a long-term foundation, relationship, partnership, business, career, get on the right path, well, that's what you've got to do and you've got to bring it into reality now. So it's all forward, forward, forward. Any deceit, deception, self-sabotage will be reset, removed, taken, and you will be shown by those messages from the divine that are coming through. You, nobody can fight this guy, this energy, and fated, judged energy by the higher up. This is not by you or me or anybody else. Time to move on, move forward and expand. That's what the world card is, resetting time to put in the work um, and come forth with the information that you're about to receive or the person, both of you, I would say. Um, and it's time to sun card, which is great. Illumination, success, choices, choices of partners, paths, uh, directions, um, and higher and lower choices. But it looks like with the two of cups and the lovers here, it is time to pick a path. And we have the king of cups out here. So this is all about the higher up stepping in, unifying people, places and situations, activating paths, partnerships, higher divine. So I suggest that you do your healing, your connecting, your meditating, and leave your mind blank. Allow the universe to come in and show you the picture or the vision. No matter what you do or do not like, see or resonate with that, bring through the divine. Just make sure your connection is actually in the light, in the highest of creator's truth. Um, because you are in the hanged man here, meaning there is a commitment. There is an actual karmic commitment path and spiritual contract here um, and maybe you've been seeing things the wrong way very fast out of nowhere you have the strength and the courage you've gone inward and we have the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles and somebody taking charge in that the Ten of Pentacles is you've gone inward about what you can grow who you can grow and build with what you can start with and you've, it's a soul contract or calling and it's taking action into something you can build a lifetime and a legacy with. I'm going to wrap it up there. There's your weekly two-week message of the energy that is coming in or being activated this and forward. Thank you. Bye.